Hi everybody and welcome to Messy Maker's Mind. My name is Liv and I create knitting podcasts here on YouTube. I have also recently started making studying videos for veterinary nursing and science which I am currently in process of working towards and I also sell loads of hand knitted items on my Etsy and I also sell patterns on Ravelry. So all of that will be linked down below in the description box as usual. So um, yeah, so I'm going to get straight into the podcast. So this is episode 29 and um, I'm just going to basically be sharing with you finished items works and progresses and loads of updated news. I've got some updated things that I want to share with you guys regarding my Etsy shop. Um, yeah, so that's basically what we're going to do. You may tell by the background uh, it is a little different. So I actually recently got a TV um, in my room. Before I didn't actually have a TV in my room but I kind of wanted something to watch like Netflix on and stuff and instead of like just watching it on my laptop so I now have a telly and I've had to compromise <laughs> and move a few things around um, so yeah that is why there's a TV in the background now so by the way the lights are still not fixed um, I'm waiting for like to get more of these little hooks but um, they're all scrunched in here for now so <laughs> hopefully in my next video the lights will be um, all on and completed. Fingers crossed. Got my coffee, of course, behind me. And um, in here I have the French Vanilla, which I love. It is an American brand and I found this um, French Vanilla coffee made out from, I think, I believe it was uh, Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. And Guys, I love it so much. Like, I have it every single day now, religiously. It is amazing. Instead of milk, I just add a scoop of Coffee Mate French Vanilla in and job done. And it's so nice. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to basically share with you guys what I have been up to. Um, I only recently did actually film a podcast, so I haven't got many items finished. I have worked more on them, but because these items are, the project's quite a big project, I haven't been able to finish them as yet. Um, yeah, so I suppose let's get started. So before we get started, I just want to mention this hoodie. Now you may not be able to see this in the video because the camera angle. I tried my best to set it up but it, I'm not very good with tripods and things but um, this is the Messy Maker's Mind hoodie. My amazing friend um, Mia makes these hoodies. She does loads of different things, loads of different designs. She's recently actually got a new hoodie out and I believe it's got like little ears on top. It is so cute, honestly adorable so um, she is called uh, on Instagram braids and plaits designs I will leave her Instagram below you can DM her and she will customize anything that you want um, really reasonable pricing as well fast shipping as well and yeah she uh, gifted this me I was so happy and she also actually gifted me a hand gel sanitizer bottle with my name on it and um, a ball of yarn I think I have showed this in I think I showed it in one of my videos or on my Instagram um, but that is currently clipped to my handbag because it, she also added a little clip with it but it's really handy and I love how it's personalised as well um, but yeah this hoodie is my all time favourite hoodie ever I live in this honestly and I love how it says mess maker's mind and it's got yarn in a heart. I mean, what honestly could be better, to be honest, but 
yeah, I'm just so, so, so happy. So, first thing is first, I just want to say the lighting. I'm really sorry about the lighting because it keeps, the sun is really weird today. It keeps being sunny and it goes behind a cloud and it's also snowing. So it's very weird British UK weather here. Um, yeah, we got very weird weather in England. But yeah, so I just apologise if the lighting keeps fading um, or, or going. So, finished items. I have three. And they're all hats. What a surprise. <laughs> um, so, first thing first, I have this hat here, which I did for my sister for her birthday. If you've seen my vlog, um, you will know that I was working on this for her. So, it's like this really lovely stitch pattern here. It's basically knit one pearl on one side and pearl the other. It is knitted on straight needles, so it isn't joined in the round. But I also, if I flip it inside out, really quite like the other side. So you could wear it both ways, but because I have put a palm on and my logo, um, this way is the way. <laughs> but she really likes the hat. Um, and I really like it too. So, yeah, it does look quite big, but it fits perfectly. Like once it's on, it fits really nice. And this is a free pattern. I'm not sure if I actually have the pattern to hand. There it is. So this is the pattern. It is by Kathy Payson um, for Red from Red Heart Yarns. And it is just, I think it's just called Nice and Easy Beanie Pattern. Uh, and I printed it out, so this is what the pattern looks like. And it is free. I will, if I find it or remember, <laughs> I will link it down in the description box for you guys. Um, yeah, so it's really easy, really nice, and I like how you can have it either way. That's one thing that I finished. I then finished one of my messy bun beanies. So this one. Finished in the purple colour. I love this purple so, so much. I really want to knit a scarf and a hat for myself in this. I don't know when I'll be doing that. Who knows? But um, yeah, I really do love this yarn. The lighting really isn't good, but it is really pretty. I love it so much. So I knitted that, and I am going to be knitting more of these in various different colours. So, um, yeah, they will be on my Etsy. I'm not sure when, because I have quite a few orders at the minute that I am working on. So... It could be within the next month where they all come out because I want to release them all at the same time. Um, and then, very exciting, I finished my, this is my own design. You can find this pattern on Ravelry, on my Ravelry. I will link it below as always. And this is the Rocky Road beanie. So this is what it looks like. I just love it so, so much. It is knitted in four-ply sock yarn. All the information is on the pattern. And, uh, yeah, I think it's it's a, just a really, really nice fit. I like how it's not too chunky either, but it's actually also really warm, considering it's four-ply yarn. So, I was very, very pleased with this one. And... They are the finished items for now, I believe. Um, so now I will show you guys my work in progresses. So, first one I showed in one of my vlogs. I have knitted a little bit more on it since then. Is this scarf. So this is what 
it looks like. Hopefully you can see. So this is knitted in James Seabrat Marble Chunky, one of my all-time favourite yarns, if you know. I'm obsessed with James Seabrat yarns. <laughs> um, and I'm knitting this, it's a free pattern, uh, from Yarn Inspirations, and I believe it's called Diagonal... I believe it's called Diagonal Scarf, or Diagonal Pattern, or something like that. Um, I'll link it below, but yeah, I really do love this pattern so much, and I can't wait to knit more up in this pattern. So, uh, this is an order for one of my friends, um, that I hope to try and finish ASAP. Um, then, one of my, it's going to be a work in progress, but I haven't actually cast it on any of the projects just yet but this is an order for somebody they want um, two hats one for herself and then one for her child and uh, also a scarf so I will be knitting a scarf in this yarn from this pat in this pattern if that makes sense um, and she also wants a fingerless mitts, so I've never done fingerless mitts in my life, so it's going to be a really nice challenge. I have found a pattern that I think I can achieve. Uh, I just need to get the yarn in for it, so I will be using James C. Bright DK Marble Yarn. I don't know if it's called Marble... I think it's called Marble DK Yarn. So, um, yeah, but that is an order, and... Um, this is the yarn that I'm going to be working in. So this is from James C. Bright as well. So I really can't wait to get started on this order actually. Hopefully I'm maybe going to cast it on later this, this afternoon. We shall see. But uh, yeah, so that is an order that I have um, to start. And then I am currently knitting up another one of those um, beanies. So this is the the simple beanie that I knitted with my where is it? So this pattern I'm also doing another beanie for somebody. So this is what it's looking like so far. It is knitted. I've knitted it on circular needles, even though it's not joined in the round, just because I find them a lot easier to work with. Um, but I haven't got very far. But this is what it's looking like. And you can see this little sheep stitch marker. One of my amazing friends actually got me this. And um, she is on Instagram. I will leave her Instagram handle on the screen somewhere. But she also made me these really amazing earrings. If you see my post, um, you would have seen them by now. But they are amazing. Um, I will be doing a whole separate video on all of the things that she got me. And um, sharing with you what she creates. But she's very talented. I highly recommend you checking out her page. And um, yeah. So I was very, very grateful for that. And I've used it on this hat. And this yarn is the big 400 gram ball by, I believe, I haven't got the label now, but I believe this is Hayfield's, Hayfield bonus or something, Hayfield bonus, Aaron 400 gram ball. <laughs> um, yeah, but this is uh, for somebody I know, they want one for their Valentine, so I need to get this knitted up before Sunday which I think I can do and another work in progress is in my project bag and it is the wrap so I've had a lot of test knitters um, for this wrap so I'm very very grateful and I cannot wait to release this again I I have no idea when 
I'm going to be releasing this pattern to be honest but I hope possibly at the end of April time maybe the start of May um, yeah so this is what it's looking like so far it doesn't all fit in the in the camera but um, yeah that's what it's looking like I love it so much it's really really nice I love the yarn the yarn is um, for, from Marina Yarns I believe and it's only like maybe a pound or two pound per ball so it's really reasonable price but I really do love the the blue in this yarn and I'm planning on knitting a hat as well to go with this pattern and I think that is everything that I'll be working on at the minute I think I'm going to end the vlog here now I really hope you have enjoyed and um, I will be having an updated podcast very soon um, hopefully with more finished items fingers crossed and new projects on needles so we shall see I'm hoping that'll be that, that's the goal for the next podcast um, but yeah if you've enjoyed please hit the subscribe button and like and uh, comment below for any video requests that you may have and I will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye Cheers.